The new season is approaching really, really fast. We're very excited to get it underway. But before we get into what we're hyping up for this year, we want to look back to last year and give a little bit of recognition to some of the drivers who were on the grid, who put in some amazing performances and really developed themselves. So this is going to be the award show for 2022. Before we get into the custom awards and the other things we've done for a bit of fun, uh, we want to give a little bit of recognition to the championship podium winners across the year. So these were the guys who had the super consistent results, got themselves to the top of the class, and they're going to be moving up to pro for next year. So first of all, in third place, we had Wee Stu, Stu Adsley. In second place, we have Aruna Snamontas. And finally, the championship winner for the year was Dan Tyler. These guys were amazing. They're all moving up to the pro class and we're very excited to see how they go on next year. Moving on from Pro 2 to the Pro Class, we've once again got the championship winners for the year. All three of these guys, absolutely fantastic drivers, seriously some of the best names in Europe, and it was a pleasure having them be a part of the grid for this year. Uh, so we had in third place, finishing up, was Aramis Vaskelis. In second place, we had Stephen McConnell, absolute grassroots hero. First place championship winner was Dwayne McKeever, making him the three times BDC champion, person who's won the championship more times than anyone else. So huge congratulations to Dwayne and all of his team and to every one of these guys who put in amazing results this year. Time to give out a few of the fun awards that we just, a little bit of recognition for some of the drivers who really put in the work this year. Uh, we are gonna start off with the Team Presentation Award. So to explain what Team Presentation is, this is who comes to the events with the car looking the parts, their pit vehicles are clean, their setups are good, all that sort of stuff. So it's, you know, it's who is showing up like a professional uh, race team. Uh, this year, the award is gonna go to JD Motorsport Engineering, so that is Basically, it's Ollie Silcock, Pro Driver, Dave Kiwi in Pro 2, and then John Denmark himself, who kind of runs the pits and runs the cars for those guys. So, incredible effort by them last year. Even after Ollie broke his leg and wasn't in for the latter half of the season, they were still bringing the car, displaying it. They have like a full gala set up, all the Swiss tracks floor and everything like that. Just such a good presentation, and that's something that is very, very important in the sport. So, we want to give some recognition out for that. Next up, uh, is the Media Contribution Award. So this is something we give out every single year just to recognize someone who does really well in the media. And the media is really what showcases the championship. Uh, in the case of this one, this is someone behind the scenes who helped us, helped Chris, absolutely loads from rigging GoPros to running the chase car to everything like that. So this year, the media contribution has been given to Andy from AA Media who went just above and beyond in every way behind the scenes to help us. So huge shout out to Andy and this is fair. So the next award is one that's not picked by us, it's actually voted by the drivers in the group. At the end of the year, we let all the drivers cast their vote. It was very, very close this year between two drivers. So the Drivers Driver Award, the runner up for it, I wanna give him a shout out. I know he's just sold his car, but James Van Bacon actually came second, very close. There was two votes in it in the end, but the winner was Stephen McConnell. So Stephen came through from Pro 2, bought the new car, smashed it, got on the podium at round one, and then for the rest of the year was just showing such amazing technical skill and the other drivers on the grid voted this for him. So it's a huge honor for him, and that's the driver's driver for 2021 was Stephen McConnell. So the next award for this year is gonna be the most improved driver. It's another one that we give out every year, and it's usually someone who makes their way up through the ranks and showcases a huge amount of talent. Uh, last year, this driver was a permit driver who came into the BDC. He's now just earned his pro license, came second in the championship, and that is Arunas de Montas. And through the season, he just looked stronger and stronger as they gelled that insane car. Uh, and we're very excited to see him in pro this year. Another award that we give away every single year is the Hardest Charger. So it's someone who's just showcased incredible chase driving throughout the season. Uh, in this case, a very, very exciting driver, someone else who's making their way up to pro this year. And every single round, 
You could see her out on track, just chasing, putting on people's doors. It's Jolene McDonald. So Jojo had probably the battle of the whole year against Danny Wyman at round one. I think that was voted by just about everyone on the internet. They loved it, we loved it. We recognize that talent and uh, congratulations to Jojo for taking the hardest charger for 2021. Next up is the Upcoming Driver Award. So the Upcoming Driver is basically someone that we respect as the championship, who we see has been a huge potential for the future and somebody who could even go on to be a pro championship or something like that. So the 2021 Upcoming Driver Award, we're giving that out to Archie Harmer. Don't think anybody needs us to explain why that is. He was absolutely phenomenal at every round this year, getting onto the pro grid in a 400 brake horsepower Beamer and sticking it on Connor Shanahan's door at Free Sisters. Arch took home MVP awards, podiums, all sorts of other stuff. Stuff. So the upcoming driver award going to Archie Harmer. So congratulations and we're again buzzing to see him in pro this year. Final one is a three part award. So there's three people that win this. This is the staff award. Now, in reality, every single person who's on the team deserves an award. They all put in so many hours, so much love, so much passion. What you probably don't realize watching this at home is when the people run these events, they're 16 hour days, four days, back to back, straight through. It's grueling. Some of them will be stood in the rain all day. Some people just put hours in behind the scenes. Like it, it, it's so much work. So credit to all of the staff and all the team. But this year we've picked three people who've just really gone sort of above and beyond for us. So the first person is, is Lee Colgate, is, is Colgate Lee Lawrence who you will know from the start line this year. There's always been a lot of uh, persona to the start line and, and Malx was such a legend and with him sort of moving away from it in the last few years, Colgate's filled those boots and just done absolutely amazingly. The second person we want to give some recognition to is our scrutineer, that's Bradley Wallbank. So Brad, away from the track and everything, puts in work with the regs, with supporting drivers, with helping people to make sure their cars are right. He has an incredible knowledge about motorsport engineering and safety and without him as part of the team this year, I would really have struggled to get things together. Uh, so huge shout out to Bradley Wallbank from Mutant Engineering, our scrutineer. And then the final staff award that we're giving away is to someone who puts in a lot of work behind the scenes, someone who you'll know uh, from all of the videos that he's made, but that person is the man on the other side of the camera who's got no idea that he's getting an award, but it's Chris Classens. You are actually taking that here. <laughs> no, really. Chris Classens has got this to be is, the award. This is for you, mate, and this is yeah! your award. Yeah, go, what are you okay? Go, 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 collect your award. You didn't want to hear it. Go, go. Speech, speech. Just walk speech. In the speech That's for you, mate. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> So that's been the award ceremony for 2021. Uh, it was a fantastic year overall. Thank you to all the drivers, sponsors, fans, the media people, everyone who supported us and got us through it. We're so hyped to get 2022 underway. Uh, the season tickets are on sale right now, so pick them up. Off-season vlogs every Friday at 8 p.m. up until we start the year, then we'll announce what's happening next there. So thank you, all of you, for being a part of this, for watching it, for supporting BDC. Long live BDC. We'll see you all soon.